In my previous video, I offhandedly referred to the members of Pentatonix as ghouls. Even after having my soul wrenched from my body by the ghouls and Pentatonix, I regret this. I would feel terrible if they found out that I disparaged them in a video that got literally hundreds of views. The truth is, I have nothing against the members of Pentatonix personally. I just thought, and still do think, that their song about Lucky Charms was very annoying. It's still stuck in my head. But my curiosity was piqued when I found out that Pentatonix was going to be given a star on the fabled Hollywood Walk of Fame. Their Twitter said that I was invited to the ceremony, so I thought I'd attend and see if there was any way I could apologize to them for my harsh words. Being given a Walk of Fame star is a prestigious and rare honor granted to the likes of Chris Angel, Donald Trump, Harrison Ford, the silent film star, and Chris O'Donnell, whose star now resides under a table on the patio of a bar. Apparently, anyone can nominate someone to receive a star on the Walk of Fame, as long as the nominee has five years' experience in the category for which they are nominated, and a history of charitable contributions. Not to be weird, but I fit the requirements for both. Just saying. It also costs $50,000 for the creation and installation of the star, which seems like a lot. According to this probably very inaccurate website estimate, that's roughly what their YouTube channel pulls in every month. So I went to check it out for myself. I found the ceremony area on the fabled streets of Hollywood. I didn't know whether to go into the media section or where the fans were gathering. I didn't want to have to explain why I was there to anyone, so I just joined the fans in line. I ended up standing between two pentatonic superfans. One of them asked me when I started listening to the group. I realized that I didn't have any sort of story ready, so I just said, um, I think what, What's way. done at weddings? Yeah. Yeah. A number of years ago. I can't remember. But, yourself. He then asked me if I thought that Avi was going to show up. I was not prepared for this at all. Luckily, an older fan behind me chimed in and said he didn't think he would show up because there were too many bridges burned. When I got home, I googled it, and apparently Avi was a former member of the group. Nothing mentioned of burn bridges, though. I wonder what happened. None of us could see shit, though, no matter how much we stood on our tippy toes. I overheard this guy saying he was a third cousin of one of the members of the group. I didn't know what a third cousin was and had to look that up when I got home as well. Apparently, a third cousin means you share a great-great-grandparent, which honestly is like you're not even related. I mean, he didn't even get a reserved seat. He was back here with the rest of us peons. We thought we were in line to get led into the ceremony, but it turns out we were just corralled into this little area facing the back of the stage. This security guard kept yelling at us for some reason. No matter how hard we tried, we couldn't see anything. One guy realized he could stream the ceremony on his phone, so I tuned in to see what the fans online were saying. We'd been waiting almost an hour and I hadn't seen anything yet. Honestly, this was bull these diehard fans had been clamoring all afternoon to see these singers and were being snubbed. I was just about ready to write Pentatonix off and ditch this whole ceremony. Then finally it ended and the members of the group came over to greet their fans. The fans loved it. The members were game for autographs and signatures and they worked the whole line. I was gonna apologize, but I suddenly got cold feet. Seeing Pentatonix up close was enough for me to realize that they are not ghouls. They seem like very nice people. Even if I don't enjoy their music, their fans clearly love the stuff. And that's enough. So I would just like to say from the bottom of my heart, I'm sorry Pentatonix.